Hello everyone. We will continue the topic types as a part of a BAP OOPS. And in the previous videos, firstly, we understood the concept of types. Then we did the practical part using the global class. Yes. Now we will go for same to same concept using the local classes. It means we will not touch SC24 at all. We will do each and everything in SC38 program itself. So same to same requirement. Yes. Now we will go through local classes. And for each and every topic, yes, we are always following the same to same approach. Firstly, we are going for global, then we are going for local. So I will go to SC38 transaction code and I will create a program. Suppose same to same program. Suppose I will just add the word local. I will just go for create to display the sales order details. I will choose the type as executable program and we will go for save. I will save this as a local object. If global concept is clear, it's very easy to go for local because ultimately we are converting that into code. Yes, we have same to same input to the program. Select options, range of sales order now. S underscore BBELN. For LV underscore BBELN. I will simply tick layer. Type VBELN underscore VA. I will just provide the selection text. Go to text elements, selection text. I will go for DDIC reference. This is from data element. So our input is ready. Now we will simply compare with the steps of global and we will write in the local. When we did in SC24, what we did, I'll just open the class and we will go for parallel interpretation there. With the help of SC24, we created the class. In the class, we have one method. Same thing we will do here. So I will write class. Suppose name of the class is class one. Firstly, we will go for definition. I will go for end class. Now, after that, what we did? Yes, we have a method in the class. We have a method. We have a method get underscore data. And it is a public yes. So how I will write? I will simply write public section. And now I will write methods. Yes, because we want to go for instance method. So the keyword is methods. I'm writing methods get underscore data. Now into this particular method, we have one importing and one exporting. Our importing is a range table. Our output is also a internal table. So I will write here importing. Suppose SVBELN type. Now here we need to pass. Here we need to pass. So what we did in SC24, this one, this particular table type, we created using the type tab. This is our structure type and this is our table type. We created using that type tab. Now here, we will not use the type tab. We will write the code for the same. So how I will write? I will simply go for types. Types. Begin of LTY underscore VBELN. Just we are going for, for same to same thing using coding. Sign. What is the length of sign? One. Then we have option. What is the length of option? CAR2. Then we have low and then we have high. Low is data element of VBELN. High type VBELN underscore VA. I will end this particular structure type. 
and now after that we will simply go for table type you can see this particular thing is a part of class itself in the class itself we are declaring the structure types and table types not in the program is yes, not at the program level at the in the program we have the class in the class we are declaring is yes. in the local class now i will go for types LTTY underscore VBELN type table of LTY underscore VBEL. Same thing we did when we did through type tab of global class. Same thing we did. Now we are going for local. So SVBELN type. Now I can write LTTY underscore VBEL. Same thing we did here. This SVBELN type is now we will go for exporting you all know our exporting is also an internal table so i will write t output type now here we want a table type yes so in sc24 what we did we simply simply created a structure type and table type this is our structure type of six column and then we have table type. Now we need to use here. So it's good. I will copy paste from here itself because I need to write same to same thing. So I will just copy. It will save our time and I will paste here. If you want to declare by your own, it's totally your wish if you want to write again. So we have structure type and then we have table type. Now I will declare here our T output type LTTY underscore output. Now I will check the syntax. I will apply pretty printer first. Now uh, firstly I will go for implementation. Then I will check the syntax. Otherwise I will get a syntax error. So up to this level it's clear. Firstly we have one method. Yes we have one class method. We have one importing, one exporting, and we have this table types. We did same to same thing. We have one class. Yes, we have in the class, we have one method, one importing, one exporting, and these are our table types. And we declared in this particular class itself. Now I will go for implementation. So I will write class, class one implementation. For every class, there is a end class. Now we will write the logic into this particular method. So I will write method, but the name of the method, get underscore data. Now for every method, there is a end method. Now into this particular method, we will write the code. Yes, code is same to same. We will go for this particular method and we will write the code. Now, now this same to same code because code is same. So I'll just copy. We will go for same to same code. Then we will simply implement types also. Same to same code we have written, yes. Now the main point will come, yes. Now whenever we copy pasted the code, just remember this LTY underscore VBAK, this structure type, this structure type, yes, we declare using the types tab. This LTY VBAK, LTY VBAP, we declared using the types tab. Here also, we need to do same to same thing. Yes, we will declare here. Yes, we will go for this particular structure type for VBAK, particular structure type for VBAP because we are using we are using here structure type for VBAK, structure type for VBAP. Yes, it means we need to declare. Yes, but this time we are going for the class itself. So I'll just go for types. We'll copy paste because it's same to same thing. I will go. This is our structure type for VBAK and this is our structure type for VBAP. There's no difference if the global is clear. We are going for same to same concept. This is our structure type for VBAK. This is our structure type for VBAK. 
And now we have the logic. So if I will check the syntax up to this level, it is syntactically correct and done. Now class part is over. Yes, after that we called the method inside the program. Same way we need to do here. So I will write start of selection. You all know whenever you will click on to execute button start of selection event will trigger. Now our method is a instance method. So I will declare the object. Hello underscore object type rest. What is our class name? Our class is now class one. I will create the object, create object, hello underscore object. Now, how we will call instance method through object, hello underscore object. We need to go for this single. We need to go for greater than key. Yes, what is the name of the method? Get underscore data. You all know import will become export, export will become import. So this is our importing. So it will become exporting. Exporting SVBELN is equal to S underscore VBELN. Now we will go for importing. T output is equal to LT underscore output. We'll declare LT underscore output in the program. This one needs to be declared in the program. Yes. Now I will apply the loop. Loop at LT underscore output into LWA output. For every loop, there is a end loop. Now I will go for write statement. Write. This one can I also copy from the program? Yes, because same to same thing is there. I will copy. I will apply pretty printer. Now I will declare this LT underscore output. This one I need to declare in the program. Yes. So I will go for types begin of LTY underscore output. Yes, can I copy paste from here? Yes, we have this types. Do not think this is at the class level. This is at the class level. Now we are going for the program level, program global level. Yes, this is our program. Yes, because many people will think, yes, you declared a types here in the class. Yes, if we are declaring a types in the class, it means it can be used into this particular class itself. We used into this particular class. Now I will simply go for this. I will just copy because same to same type is there. Now I will go for this particular internal table. I will declare. Data. LT underscore output type table of LTY underscore output. Because our output will be in this internal table. It will return the output into this internal table and we need to display. So we need to declare at the program level. Yes. Now I will check the syntax. Okay. I think I gave some wrong name. S underscore V. Okay. True error. We discussed so many times. Yes, we need to go for bracket because select option is an internal table. Yes, I will declare work area also. I forgot to declare work area. LWA output type LTY underscore output. This structure type previously we declared that was the part of class one. Now it is at the program level because ultimately the output is from the program. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we implemented the same concept of types using the local classes now.
it means we will not touch SC24. And in this full demo, we have not touched SC24 at all. So firstly, we have an input for sales order number. We declared one class public section. We have one method. We took importing and exporting. Now our importing and exporting, yes, this is our range table. This is our internal table. Yes, our this, this is our range table. This is our internal table. It means we need to go for table type. Previously, you declared the structure type and table type in using the type stack. Now we need to declare here itself because we are going for local classes. So we have this structure type, table type we used. We have structure type, we have table type we used. After that, we have written the logic in the class method and we come for a perception that for this, for this also, yes, we will simply, simply declare types into this class itself. So this is structure type for VBAK, structure type for VBAP. We have written the logic. After that, we have written the logic to call this particular method. But most important point where maximum people get confused is yes, why you are declaring LD underscore output in the program. See, you want a output from the program. It means whenever this class method will give the output, it will come into this internal table. It means we need to declare this internal table. Now people will think you already have declared the structure type in the class. Can't we use the See this, this particular structure type we declared into this particular class. It means the scope is into this particular class only. Yes. So it means we need to declare the structure type in the program. We have internal table work area and yes, we have written the loop statement. Now in the next video, we will go for understanding of each and everything in the debugging mode, but this time it is local classes. So now in the next video, we will go for debugging of the same. So that's it in this video. Thank you.